we have recently acquired two of these Elam 251Es. They're, I would say, close to consecutive. 917, 919. They used to make these in blocks of 10. And then, then the, uh, they would figure out which ones were the closest to stereo matched. They're Telefunken badged microphones. Telefunken at that time did not make microphones. They were just a distributor. They had kind of like a falling out with uh, Neumann at that time. And so AKG kind of like jumped at the chance to make a large diaphragm uh, condenser mic for Telefunken. So this is what they come up with. These are even wired for 50 ohms. <laughs> so I have no idea what they were used in, but I wire them up to 200 ohms, uh, clean the capsules, dust them off. I'd repaint the back this black. That's about the only touch up I'd do on them. I have the original power supply here. And what we like to do here is we like to update them to um, the newer style connectors and um, IC plug, um, better grounding and shielding. The excitement these bring to anything, especially vocals, are, you, just, you would just have to hear it. Tall and tan and young and lovely, the girl from Ebony goes walking and when she passes each one, she passes, goes la da dee dee da. Oh, oh, and when she walks, just like a samba that sways, so cool and sways, so gently that when she passes each one, she passes, goes la da dee dee da. Dave Grohl bought a pair of these from us about 10 years ago. He sent me a photo of them being used as just a pair of overheads for his drums. And I thought that was, I don't know, I thought it was pretty amazing. Okay, I'm going to do a quick teardown of this uh, uh, Elam 251. It's very simple. And I get this body strap out of the way. Um, you can see it's a tube. It's a, it's a 6072 tube. It's the same tube I uh, used in the C12. So uh, this should come right out, a little twist, and then right there is a brass ring C12, the holy grail of large diaphragm capsules. The serial number badge is like an off yellow, like this, and to make sure that it is matching body, there's always a, another tag right there. It's right just the just above that and you can see that they match because a lot of times you'll see these and you'll see this number different from this number or whatever so this is like an all numbers matching microphone which is good it is always a pleasure seeing new gear come through these doors especially microphones that's what i do and i work on but what gets me excited when i take them apart is just i just wonder where they've been what what do they make? I have a saying and it goes, every great song starts with an idea, but every great sounding song starts at the microphone.